okay so topic for the day is hsrp guys this is a user demand video one of my subscriber has requested me to make one video on hsrp and vrrp right so in this video we will cover each and everything about hsrp protocol like uh, what is preemption in hsrp how to use track command how to perform load balancing in hsrp each and everything okay so this video will cover everything about hsrp protocol so first we will understand theory part then i will show you practical configuration right configuration part so guys first of all hsrp stand for what hsrp stand for hot standby router protocol it's stand for hot standby router protocol router protocol first of all understand what is the need of hsrp hsrp is required for gateway high availability suppose this is my network this is my switch and here some user are connected to this switch right so this this user want to access internet so we need one router this is suppose my isp and this is my router r1 this is my edge router right now for this all user gateway is router 1 you will define gateway as ip address of this interface but what will happen if r1 will goes down right so there is problem if r1 will goes down this user can't access internet for that you will take one backup path from different isp right suppose this is isp 2 and this is my router 2 this is also connected to my switch fine now i have two default gateway but you can define only one default gateway ip address to this user right only one ip address we can define to this user so suppose here i am running ip address 192.168.10.1 and here 10.2 so if you will define ip address uh, as a default gateway to this user is 10.1 so this user can access internet via r1 but when r1 will goes down you have to change default gateway right you have to configure default gateway 10 to 10.2 again when your router 1 will come up you have to change default gateway that means my default gateway is not high available right so this is problem for that what we will do we will create one virtual ip address with the help of physical ip address this is physical gateway and we can create virtual gateway with the help of some protocol so we have three protocol first one is hsrp second one is vrrp and third one is glrp glbp sorry gateway load balancing protocol glbp so what is the use of this protocol use of this protocol is to create a virtual gateway with the help of multiple physical gateway we have multiple physical gateway and we need to create one virtual single virtual gateway right so with the help of hsrp we can create one we can create a single virtual gateway from multiple physical gateway like ether channel in ether channel with the help of link aggregation we can create a virtual link by multiple physical link through mul multiple physical link we can bundle multiple physical link into one into a single logical link in the same way with the help of hsrp we can aggregate multiple physical gateway into single logical gateway or you can say single virtual gateway fine so okay so this is why we come up with hsrp what is the need of hsrp protocol hsrp is used to create a single virtual gateway from multiple physical gateway this is definition if interviewer will ask you what is hsrp and why we use hsrp so hsrp is used to create a single virtual gateway from multiple physical gateway fine now let's understand first something something about uh, hsrp first so it is an it is an cisco proprietary protocol cisco 
proprietary means suppose this is my router 1 r1 and this is my r2 this is cisco device and this is non cisco device right so here you, you can't configure hsrp because hsrp is cisco proprietary so you can configure hsrp only on cisco devices right so here we are not allowed to configure hsrp right so this is very important point that hsrp is cisco proprietary protocol that means you can configure hsrp on cisco devices only fine second point in hsrp is is hello timer hello time is 3 second means hsrp protocol will also send some message like eigrp hello message or ospf hello message right so default timer for hello message is 3 second means after every 3 second hsrp will send message hello message to their neighbor fine and hold on time is 10 second this is similar like ospf hello time and date time eigrp hello time and hold time right and hold on time is 10 second hsrp hello time is 3 second and hold on time is 10 second after that it's uses udp at layer 4 it is an application layer protocol hsrp is an you can mention this point also hsrp is an application layer protocol fine and uses udp at layer 4 at transport layer hsrp uses tcp and port number udp port number is 1985 90 and okay and you can mention one more point here that is uh, multicast address multi sorry it's multi cast address is address is 224.0.0.2 so hsrp protocol will send their message on this multicast address like ospf uses 224.0.0.5 and 6 in the same way hsrp protocol uses this multicast address fine and by default priority is we will discuss about priority later by default priority is 100 so on every router by default priority will be 100 fine and track is in build by default track is in build in this protocol in hsrp protocol right so we will use track as well then we will discuss more about this track in build point and you know what next point you can mention it that by default decrement in priority is 10 we will discuss this point also by default decrement in priority is 10 10 right so by default priority will be decrement by 10 okay so when we will use track then we will discuss this point right you can mention one more point here that it uses virtual mac address virtual mac address is mac equals 0000.00c07.acxx xx is your group number so this will be same right this will be same and last 8 bits will be your group number so suppose if you will configure hsrp group number 1 so here in mac address value will be 0 1 okay so xx means it's your group number where you can mention where xx is my group number group number is hsrp okay and maximum group support in hsrp is maximum group maximum group you can configure is 22255 right and we can configure authentication as well like plain authentication and md5 authentication as well both authentication we can configure and by default preemption is disabled preemption is 
disabled preemption for active router is disabled by default right we will discuss about this point as well okay now let me talk about hsrp states hsrp states hsrp states so we have six states in hsrp first one is disable second one is init third one is speaking fourth one is standby sorry fourth one is listening listening fifth one is standby and sixth one is active sixth one is active for one group only one device can be in active state for one group only one device can be in active state and one device can be in standby state and all other will be remain in listening so suppose we have multiple gateway router 1 router 2 router 3 right here i am running only one group of hsrp that is suppose group number 1 so only one router will become active only one router will become standby and all other router will become what listening a state of all other router will be in listening fine this is some basic theory about hsrp you have to keep in mind this point right so like by default preemption is disabled so you have to enable preemption uh, okay we will discuss while i will configure hsrp while configuring i will discuss about preemption concept okay so election criteria is what now next concern is what is election criteria of active router and standby router in hsrp so election criteria is first one is highest priority so router who will have highest router uh, sorry priority that router will become active if priority is same if priority will be tie then they will check highest ip address highest ip address router who will have highest ip address that router will become active suppose we have three router r1 r2 and r3 by default priority on every router is 100 100 and 100 right these router are connected to isp okay and suppose here i am running ip address 192.168.10.1 here 10.2 here 10.3 means 192.168.10.2 192.168.10.3 fine now you tell me which router will become active which router will become active and which router will become standby if you know please write in comment that router 1 will become active or router 2 router 3 which router will become active router so active router election criteria is highest priority but priority is same on all router so they will check what highest ip address so according to the criteria router 3 should be router 3 will be active this router will become active router right but for election of active router router will wait only for 10 seconds right so if i will configure hsrp on router one first they will wait for 10 seconds for active and standby election right that this router will become active or not so once this router will become active and preemption is disabled this sort so after 10 seconds if you will configure hsrp on router 2 and router 3 so router 3 will not become active when router 3 will become active when router 1 will goes down then only router 3 will become active so router will wait for 10 second second until router declare their self that i am active right within 10 seconds if router will not receive any hsrp message from their neighbor with highest priority or highest ip address router will declare their self as active router right so agar isko koi 
एच एस आर पी का मैसेज नहीं मिलता है दस सेकेंड तक तो ये अपने आप को क्या बता देगा कि भाई मैं क्या हूं एक्टिव राइट सो ऑन सर रोटर विल डिक्लेयर देयर देयर सेल्फ एज एक्टिव रोटर दे विल नॉट चेंज देयर स्टेट अंटिल दे विल गोज डाउन तब तक वो अपना स्टेट चेंज नहीं करेगा जब तक वो रोटर डाउन ना हो जाए राइट और वट वी कैन डू वी कैन इनेबल प्रियमसन सो बाई डिफॉल्ट प्रियमसन इज डिसेबल फॉर एक्टिव रोटर इलेक्शन राइट फॉर एक्टिव रोटर इलेक्शन प्रियमसन इज डॉन मीन्स सपोज दिस इज माई दिस इज माई प्राइमरी रोटर दिस इज माई प्राइमरी रोटर दिस इज माई प्राइमरी गेट वे राइट प्राइमरी गेट वे सो दिस रोटर विल बिकम एक्टिव राइट आफ्टर सम टाइम इफ दिस रोटर विल गोज डॉन R2 will become active. Second highest IP address. Yes, this router will become active, and this router will become a standby. Fine, no problem. But again, suppose after some time, when R3 will come up, when my primary link come up, my primary gateway come up, the state will not change. The state of router one will not change. Election for active router will not happen again. Router two will still active. So. what we need to do we need to enable preemption so once we will enable preemption router 3 will become active if router 3 is up means preemption is a law to r3 to take their active position again right to take their active position again but if preemption is disable so once r2 will become active and r3 will come up still r3 will be stand by right because preemption for stand by is enabled preemption for active router is disable right so this router will become what stand by if preemption is disable let me make you more clear this is my r1 this is my r2 this is my r3 by default priority is 100 100 and 100 here ip address is 192.168.10.1 Here 10.2, here 10.3, right? Suppose this is my active router. This is my active router. This this router will become a standby, and the state of this router will be listening. Fine. On this router will goes down. This router will become a standby, and this router will become active, right? This router will become router two will become active. Again, when R3 will come up. Right when R3 will come up, so this order will become what a standby. This order will become uh, listen. A state of this order will be listen, and this order will become what again. This order will still active, but if preemption is on, then this order will become what a standby, and this order will become active. Right, so preemption will allow to R3 to take their position as active router again. fine and guys one more thing in theory then we will move to practical part so let me talk about hsrp hello message so hsrp is an application layer protocol so hsrp will generate hello message at application layer in hello message what will be the information in hello message information will be group number hsrp group number suppose group number is 100 and virtual ip address virtual ip suppose virtual ip address is 192.168.10.100 right this there will be these two information group number and virtual ip address after that application layer will hand over it to transport layer at transport layer hsrp uses udp so transport layer will add udp header in udp header source port will be random port number and destination port will be 1985 right after that transport layer will hand over to to network layer network layer will add ip header source ip will be ip address of exit interface suppose this is hello message of router 1 so ip address will be source will be 192.168.10.1 and destination will be multicast address of hsrp 224.0.0.2 then it will hand over to data link layer and data link layer will add source mac destination mac source mac will be mac address of exit interface and destination mac will be multicast mac address that hsrp uses multicast mac okay now guys let me discuss practically let me configure hsrp 
दैट विल बी मेक यू मोर क्लियर ओके सो हियर इन जी एन एस थ्री यू कैन सी दिस इज माई टोपोलॉजी दिस इज माई टोपोलॉजी लेट मी टर्न ऑन द डिवाइस आई हैव ऑलरेडी कॉन्फिगर्ड आई पी एड्रेस ऑन दिस डिवाइस सो आई थिंक सो आई पी एड्रेस हैज कॉन्फिगर्ड लेट मी चेक लेट मी चेक आई पी कॉन्फिगेशन ऑन आर वन फर्स्ट दिस इज माई राउटर वन गाइज हियर फॉर कनेक्टिविटी वी विल रन एनी डॉटिंग प्रोटोकॉल इन रियल टाइम ऑन योर एज राउटर यू विल कॉन्फिगर पैट right here you will configure one default route here also default route here also default route and you will configure pat but now for connectivity i will configure eigrp right and i will make this interface as passive interface passive interface passive interface so that eigrp neighbors will not form between r1 and r2 right so i will configure this interface as passive interface okay then suppose this is my primary link this is my primary link here we have uh, suppose a speed of 8 mbps 8 mbps and here is speed is suppose 2 mbps or you suppose 4 mbps and here is speed is on my third link here is speed is suppose 2 mbps okay so this is my primary link via router 1 this is my primary link this is my secondary link this is my backup link okay okay so here i think i am running ip 192.168.10.1 let me check on r1 so ip interface brief exclude unassigned c on f0/0 ip address is 10.10 and on serial 2/0 IP address is 1.1.1. So here I am running network 1.1.1.0/30. On ISP router, let me show you IP. So IP interface brief. Exclude and assign. Okay, so we have one loopback on ISP router and on serial 2/0 IP address is this one. this one and this one okay so on my public link here i am using network 1.1.1.0/30 here i am running network 2.2.2.0 here i am running network 3.3.3.0/30 okay we have one loop back on isp router 8.8.8 and on host here i am running ip 192.168. 10.1 here 10.2 here 10.3 okay so we will create one virtual gateway virtual ip address by combining by aggregating these three physical gateway so my virtual ip address will be 192.168.10.100 okay this this will be my virtual ip address my virtual gateway and this ip address i will configure on this router as default gateway okay so first of all let me see the ip configuration on host router on host sorry so ip interface brief brief exclude and assign so ip interface brief exclude and assign okay so let me configure ip address here i haven't configure any ip address on host interface serial zero fast ethernet 0/0 sorry ip address is 192.168.10. suppose 10 255.255.255.0 okay after that ip default gateway ip default gateway so if i will configure default gateway 192.168.10.1 If I will configure 10.1, so traffic of my LAN user will reach to ISP via router one always, right? This is my primary link, no problem. But when this router will goes down, we have to change default gateway, right? Again, when this router will come up, we have to change default gateway. So that's the reason why we are configuring HSRP, 
ओके सो लेट मी कॉन्फ़िगर वर्चुअल आईपी एड्रेस एज डिफॉल्ट गेटवे ऑन होस्ट सो लेट मी कॉन्फ़िगर डिफॉल्ट गेटवे 192.168.10.100 हियर ओके एंड से नो आईपी राउटिंग ऑन होस्ट सो आईपी इंटरफेस ब्रीफ एक्सक्लूड अनअसाइन फाइन लेट मी सेव द कॉन्फ़िगरेशन राइट ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू कॉन्फ़िगर ईआईजीआरपी हियर ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑन आईएसपी राउटर लेट मी कॉन्फ़िगर ईआईजीआरपी फॉर कनेक्टिविटी दिस इज माय आईएसपी राउटर कॉन्फ़िगर टर्मिनल राउटर ईआईजीआरपी एस नंबर सपोज 100 एंड नेटवर्क इज 0.0.0 व्हाइल कार्ड मास 0.255.255.255 फाइन नाउ लेट मी कॉन्फ़िगर ईआईजीआरपी ऑन राउटर 1 कॉन्फ़िगर टर्मिनल राउटर ईएजीआरपी 100 नेटवर्क 0.0.0 एंड वाइल्ड कार्ड मास 255255255.255 ओके एंड पैसिव इंटरफेस इज फास्ट इथरनेट 0/0 आई विल रन सेम कमांड ऑन राउटर 2 एंड राउटर 3 आल्सो सो लेट मी कॉपी द कमांड सो हिस्ट्री लेट मी कॉपी दिस कमांड Go to router two. Config the router. Yes, ERP one hundred. Network zero dot zero dot zero two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five. And passive interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero. Okay. Do so history. Let me copy now. Okay. Now let me paste the same command on router three. Configure terminal. Okay. So IP root EIGRP. There will be eight dot eight dot eight. Yes, you can see eight dot eight dot eight in the routing table of router three. Router three is able to ping eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. Yes, yes. Router three is able to ping eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. Can this host ping 8.8.8? No. Ping 8.8.8.8. Now host is not able to ping 8.8.8 because here I have configured default gateway 192.168.10.100. That is virtual gateway, but I haven't configured HSRP. So if I will change default gateway, yes, this host can communicate with 8.8.8. Let me change default gateway first. taking much time don't have much time dear understand is router ko samjhana hoga ki hum logo ke paas itna time nahi hai ip default gateway is 192.168.10.1 now this user can ping 8.8.8 ping 8.8.8.8 yes yeah, see now my lan user is able to communicate with ISP fine, but there is problem. If R1 bill goes down, this host can't access internet. This host can't ping 8.8.8, right? Then we have to change default gateway manually again and again because my gateway is not high available. So let me change default gateway first. Default gateway 192.168.10.100. And I am going to configure HSRP now. So first of all, go to router one and say, go to interface. If you will run, so IP EIGRP neighbor, so IP EIGRP neighbor. See, there is no neighborship between router one and router two because F zero slash zero is passive interface of all router, right? So IP root EIGRP. See, eight dot eight dot eight is available in the routing table of all router. Okay, now guys, let me configure HSRP. So go to interface F zero slash zero and command is extend by then group number and virtual IP address. IP virtual IP is one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot one hundred. This is command to configure HSRP. Okay, enter. How you will verify? So extend by command will be so extend by. Okay, so now you can see. 
state is listening so it will it will wait for 10 second after 10 second it will declare their self as active router just wait now state is standby and now you can see a state of this order is active okay so standby see a state of this router is active now r1 is my active router virtual ip address is 192.168.10.100 virtual mac address is this one see virtual mac address these are same and this is group number 01 is group number my group number is 1 okay hello time is 3 second hold on time is 10 second next hello sent in 1.200 second fine preemption is disabled by default preemption is disabled this is for active router not for a standby router a stand for a standby router preemption is enabled right means for a standby suppose see now this order is my active router this order will become what listening and this order will become a standby because this order have highest ip address but if this order will goes down this order will become a standby when again this order will come up this order will become a standby and this order will again become listening okay so preemption for a standby state is enabled and preemption for active router is disabled okay so and if you will run this command so a standby here you can see active router is local and a standby router is unknown now there is no standby router let me configure hsrp on router 2 and router 3 also then you will see a standby router is here you will see ip address of a standby router okay and this is priority by default priority is 100 and this is group name we can change group name as well right this is default group name okay now guys let me configure hsrp on router 2 now you can see my lan user my host can ping 8.8.8.8 because r1 is now active router where is host this one okay because default gateway is this one virtual ip address virtual gateway and virtual gateway is configured on r1 and r1 is active router so host can ping 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8. Right, if you will trace route 8.8.8.8, so you can see all my traffic is going via router 1 192.168.10.1. Fine, okay. Now let me configure HSRP on router 2. So go to interface F0 slash 0, standby group number and virtual IP address is 192.168.10.100 fine so standby this order will become what this order will become a standby just wait for 10 second state is now speak just wait for 10 second now you can see the log message here a state is standby but when i will configure hsrp on router 3 router 3 will become what a standby and this router will become what listening fine let me configure hsrp on router 3 because preemption for a standby is enabled that's why this router will become a standby but this router will not become active because preemption for active is disabled interface f0 slash 0 standby group number one and ip address is 192.168.10.100 right so stand by just wait for some time for 10 second state is now speak you will see a log message see log message this order is now stand by and on router 2 see the state of this order is changed now state is listening if you will run so a standby command here you can see a state is now listening means preemption for a standby is enabled right and if you will run so a standby command on r3 see a state is standby 
fine now r1 is my active rotor r3 is my standby rotor and r2 is listening rotor right now host is able to ping 8.8.8 .8, right via router 1 now what will happen if r1 will goes down let me down r1 go to configure terminal interface f0 slash 0 and say shut down fine see guys now r1 goes down now which router will become active r3 router who have highest router id because priority is same so r3 will become active now you can see log message here this router become active now if you will trace route from host if you will trace route 8.8.8 .8 .8 from here see active router is 10.3 means router 3 fine now if again r1 will come up when my primary link will come up they say no set this router will not become active router right see this see the state of this router so stand by and just wait you will see log message also just wait this router will not become active router a state of this router is what listen right state of this router is listen which router is active router router 3 but my primary link is this one this one is my primary link right now this user my LAN user can access internet via router 3 via this link where I have 2 Mbps link but this is my primary link right so you want to make this router as active router what we can do we can enable preemption so that whenever my primary router will come up that router will become active router automatically fine so how to enable preemption go to router 1 and say you need to run one more command interface f0 slash 0 standby group number 1 and command will be preempt this command right you need to run this command on all router on router 2 also configure terminal interface f0 slash 0 standby 1 preempt on router 3 also see state is active after running preemption after enabling preemption r1 will become active see standby 1 preempt interface f0 slash 0 standby 1 preempt see there is no any change no any change still r1 is still r1 is listening so standby state is listening so preemption will not work for by default priority so what we need to do now we need to change priority priority or on r1 so i will configure priority 110 on r1 here i will configure priority what 100 110 here i will configure priority 105 and here priority is by default that is 100 now once i will change priority so router who have highest priority will become what active router so this router will become active router this router will become a standby and this router will become listening now ip address router will not check ip address highest ip address because priority is not same now so let me change priority as well go to router one and command is very simple you need to add one more command over here interface f0 slash 0 standby group number one and priority is 110 right now go to router 2 
स्टैंड बाय वन एंड प्रायोरिटी वन जीरो फाइव ओके नाउ दिस इज माय प्राइमरी लिंक दिस इज माय सेकेंडरी लिंक दिस इज माय बैकअप लिंक ओके नाउ गाइज यू कैन सी द राउटर वन हियर यू स्टेट इज एक्टिव नाउ स्टेट ऑफ राउटर वन इज एक्टिव सो स्टैंड बाय सी स्टेट इज एक्टिव राउटर टू विल बिकम वॉट स्टैंड बाय दिस इज माई राउटर टू सो स्टैंड बाय सी दिस इज स्टैंड बाय बट नाउ इफ आर वन विल गोज डाउन नाउ इफ आर वन विल गोज डाउन विच ऑटर विल बिकम एक्टिव आर टू हियर प्रायोरिटी इज वन जीरो फाइव दिस ऑटर विल बिकम आर सॉरी स्टैंड एक्टिव एंड दिस ऑटर विल बिकम स्टैंड बाय बट अगेन वेन आर वन कम अप दिस ऑटर विल बिकम एक्टिव ऑटोमेटिकली लेट मी शो यू लेट मी डॉन आर वन कंफिगर टर्मिनल इंटरफेस एफ जीरो स्लैश जीरो एंड से सट डाउन सी ऑन आर टू सी द लॉग मैसेज दिस ऑर्डर इज नाउ एक्टिव सो स्टैंड बाय this is your active router state is active now if you will trace route from host your all traffic will go via r2 trace route 8.8.8 dot dot see right okay when r1 will come up let me run no shut down command here no shut down automatically this order will become active the state is active now if you will trace route from host machine Ten dot one, okay. But still, there is some problem. What will happen if this link will goes down? What will happen if this link will goes down? So in HSRP, we have in build track option, right? We can use. track command here fine okay let me show you how you can track this link how you can track this link now i will track this link if this line protocol of this interface serial 2/0 is up if line protocol of this link is up line protocol up means this interface is also up and this interface is also up if line protocol is up then this order will become active only if line protocol of serial 2/0 will down then this order will become active okay let me show you guys go to r1 you need to configure one more command here f0/0 stand by group is one and track track serial 2/0 okay in the same way let me run same command on router 2 also okay so see now so stand by here state is active state is active and track interface serial 2/0 state is up decrement by 10 so if track will down now track is up if track will down it will decrement priority by 10 so now priority on this router is 100 110 and it will decrement by 10 so priority will be 100 then which router will become active r2 right then r2 will become active router 
ओके बट देयर इज वन प्रॉब्लम गाइस व्हाट विल हैपन इफ आई विल सेट प्रायोरिटी 150 हियर आई विल सेट इफ आई विल सेट प्रायोरिटी 150 देन इट विल डिक्रीमेंट प्रायोरिटी बाय 10 देन देन अगेन प्रायोरिटी विल बी 140 स्टिल आर1 विल बिकम एक्टिव बट इन दैट सिनेरियो यू नीड टू इंक्रीज डिक्रीमेंट वैल्यू राइट देन यू नीड टू डिक्रीमेंट प्रायोरिटी बाय 40 by 40 or by 50 okay so configure terminal okay now on host router if you will trace root head dot head dot head now host is reachable via my primary gateway let me down serial interface on r1 interface serial 2 slash 0 and say shut down now guys so stand by see now my track is down so it will decrement priority by 10 now priority is what 100 now which order will become active r2 now r2 will become active see here active router is 192.168.10.2 now my host can ping 8.8.8 via r2 via r2 c 10.2 clear go to router 1 interface f 0 slash 0 stand by 1 track serial 2 slash 0 and here you can increase decrement in priority you can set decrement 50 now you can see priority is 50 Now priority is 60 so it will decrement by 50 okay so now host is reachable via router 2 again when track will come up go to serial 2 slash 0 and say no shutdown now track will come up see here so now see the log message track is up this is track track line protocol is up now serial link is up now state of this order is active okay so stand by now this order is active fine in the same way you can track this link also on router 2 you will run track command config t interface f0 slash 0 stand by group number 1 and track serial 2 slash 0 and you can set decrement decrement by 10 by default decrement is 10 you can configure 20 as well okay so enter okay now on R3 also we can track this link interface F0 slash 0 stand by 1 track serial 2 slash 0 right so every router is tracking their serial link right which is connected to ISP okay now if line protocol of router 1 will goes down R2 will become active if this interface of router will goes down R2 will become active right but again when router 1 will come up router 1 become active automatically because preemption is now enabled you can verify on router see preemption is enabled and earlier preemption was disabled if you want to disable preemption you can do that also right now next thing is this is inbuilt 
track in HSRP. Now concern is in real time you will never take connectivity three connectivity from same ISP, right? In real time your scenario will be like this. Your scenario like or in this scenario you can uh, consider suppose this loopback will goes down. If loopback will goes down, what will happen? Let me down loopback. Go to ISP router. Exit interface loopback one and say shut down. Fine. Now my host will send traffic to R1. Host will send traffic to R1. See, host is sending traffic to R1. My all traffic will drop on R1, right? So now how I can track ISP? How I can track ISP? So we can use external track feature, right? This is in build feature in build track feature in hsrp what we can do we can use external track feature as well i will create one track track object how on r1 command will be track after that track object number is suppose 10 and i am using this track for ip root ip root 8.8.8.8 if this route will be available in the routing table of r1 track will be up so root 8.8.8 submit mask is 255.255.255.255 and reachability you will run this command right to track 8.8.8.8 now i have created one track object right for reachability to 8.8.8.8 .8 so if this prefix will be available in the routing table of router 1 router 1 will send uh, router 1 will check reachability to router 8.8.8.8 .8 if reachability is fine then track will be up if reachability is down then track will be down now you can check track so track and object number is 10 now you can see reachability is down because my loopback is down let me up let me run no set command here and now you can see track is still down just wait now you can see track is up track is up and you can see this log message also track state is changed from down to up so 8.8.8 is now reachable via eigrp reachable reachability is up via eigrp so this router will become what hs this router will become this router is active router so standby state is active right now everything is fine if this link will goes down no problem if this link will goes down no problem if this router will fail no problem if isp will goes down no problem but in real time you will take connectivity from isp like this this is my router one router two router three one two three these are my three gateway connected to switch here is my lan user fine you will take connectivity from isp1 from different isp isp2 and isp3 this is my isp3 you will take connectivity from from different isp for different gateway because if this isp will goes down no problem my lan user can access internet via isp2 if this isp will goes down no problem my lan user can access internet via isp3 and here we will use external track right on every router i will track isp through external external track okay so guys this is external track now concern is how to change timer so by default hello timer is three second right how we can change so see go to router one configure terminal interface f0 slash zero standby group number and then timer right see hello timer if i want to change if you want to set timer in millisecond even you can sit in set in millisecond as well in millisecond what time you want to configure if you want to set hello time in second you can do that suppose i want to set hello timer one second right after that hold on time hold on time is two second okay so like this you can 
चेंज टाइमर ऑलवेज कीप इन माइंड ग्रुप नंबर शुड बी सेम ऑन ऑल रोटर राइट दिस इज हाउ यू कैन चेंज टाइमर नो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेट ऑथेंटिकेशन इवन यू कैन डू दैट स्टैंड बाय वन एंड ऑथेंटिकेशन एंटर ओ क्वेश्चन मार्क यू कैन सी यू कैन कन्फिगर प्लेन टेक्स्ट ऑथेंटिकेशन एंड एम डी फाइव ऑथेंटिकेशन राइट सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन कन्फिगर ऑथेंटिकेशन इन एच एस आर पी नो लास्ट कंसर्न अबाउट एच एस आर पी इज लोड बैलेंसिंग राइट लास्ट कंसर्न इज लोड बैलेंसिंग सपोज दिस इज माई रोटर वन दिस इज माई रोटर टू फाइन हियर इज आई एस पी वन हियर इज आई एस पी टू दिस इज माई कनेक्टिविटी राइट दिस इज माई स्विच बोथ ऑटर आर कनेक्टेड टू स्विच हियर वी हैव सम यूजर नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म लोड बैलेंसिंग दिस इज माई प्राइमरी लिंक हियर स्पीड इज सपोज एट एम बी पी एस एंड हियर स्पीड इज फोर एम बी पी एस यस बट आई वॉन्ट टू यूज दिस लिंक ऑल्सो आई वॉन्ट टू यूज दिस लिंक ऑल्सो दिस आई एस पी ऑल्सो बिकॉज इफ दिस लिंक विल नोट गोज डॉन और आई एस पी वन विल नोट गोज डॉन माई लैंड यूजर विल नेबर यूज दिस लिंक माई लैंड यूजर विल नेबर यूज आई एस पी टू राइट so if i want to perform load balancing even i can do that what we will do here we will configure two group here we will configure two group suppose group 1 and here in group 1 i will set priority 110 and here i will set priority 100 fine here i will create virtual ip address 192.168.10.100 and i will create one more group group 2 here i will set priority 100 and here i will set priority 110 and here i will create virtual ip 192.168.10.200 right now i have two virtual gateway one is this one and second one is this one now i will configure default gateway to this user i will give default gateway to this user is 192. 168.10.100. So this user will access internet via router one, and I will give default gateway to this you these two user is 192.168.10.200. So these two user will access internet via router two. So even you can perform load balancing as well in HSRP. So some user will access internet via your primary link, and some user will access internet via secondary link. You can put uh, suppose in your LAN user there are 100 computer. So you can uh, give uh, this default gateway to 90 user, and you can give this default gateway to 10 user. So 10 user will access internet via secondary link, and 90 user. will access internet via primary link okay guys so this is all about hsrp hope this video is helpful for you if yes if this video is helpful for you please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel that's all for today we will meet soon in next video then we will discuss vrrp vrrp protocol i will make three video for first hop redundancy protocol right this is first video but if you will request for vrrp then only i will make vrrp video right so if you like this video please let me know in comment that yes this video is helpful okay guys so bye bye then that's all for today meet soon in next video